Hybrid, a division of recorded books, presents The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins Read by Hilary Huber Part 1 The Library at Garrison Oaks Chapter 1 Sunrise 1. Carolyn, blood-drenched and barefoot, walked alone down the two-lane stretch of blacktop that the Americans called Highway 78. Most of the librarians, Carolyn included, had come to think of this road as the Path of Tacos, so-called in honor of a Mexican joint they snuck out to sometimes. The guacamole, she remembered, is really good. Her stomach rumbled. Oak leaves, reddish-orange and delightfully crunchy, crackled underfoot as she walked. Her breath puffed white in the pre-dawn air. The obsidian knife she had used to murder Detective Minor lay nestled in the small of her back, sharp and secret. She was smiling. Cars were scarce, but not unheard of on this road. Over the course of her night's walk, she had seen five of them. The one breaking to a halt now, a battered Ford F-250, was the third that had stopped to take a closer look. The driver pulled to the opposite shoulder, gravel crunching, and idled there. When the window came down, she smelled chewing tobacco, old grease, and hay. A white-haired man sat behind the wheel. Next to him, a German shepherd eyed her suspiciously from the passenger seat. Oh, crap. She didn't want to hurt them. Jesus, he said. Was there an accident? His voice was warm with concern, the real kind, not the predator's fake that the last man had tried. She heard this and knew the old man was seeing her as a father might see his daughter. She relaxed a little. Nope, she said, eyeing the dog. Nothing like that. Just a mess at the barn. One of the horses. There was no barn. No horse. But she knew from the smell of the man that he would be sympathetic to animals, and that he would understand their business could be bloody. Rough delivery, for me and for her. She smiled ruefully and held her hands to frame her torso, the green silk now black and stiff with Detective Miner's blood. I ruined my dress. Try a little club sody, the man said dryly.